fuel pump, pressure and volume testing. You know, many Chrysler engines utilize an in-the-tank fuel pressure regulator system. See a picture of it there. Fuel is returned by a regulator located inside the fuel tank, and these are called returnless systems. So, whether you're testing a returnless system or not, find the Schrader valve. This won't be easy on all Chryslers. In fact, there's no Schrader valve on this Hemi engine. And as a special note on a fuel rail, that's not a pressure regulator. That's a fuel rail dampener. Now, once you find the Schrader valve, remove the protective cap. If your vehicle doesn't have a Schrader valve, then you're going to have to go to your equipment and put a splice in the fuel line so that you can test fuel pressure and fuel volume. Then thread on your adapter for the fuel pressure gauge. Clean up any gas spillage that may occur during the insulation of the gauge. You always want to be safe. You're working with fuel here. Then with the key on and engine off, check fuel pressure on your gauge and compare it to specifications. In our specifications at the top for this particular engine, we have 47 to 51 PSI. And then our gauge reads at the low end of the spec. Start the engine. Check fuel pressure again and compare it to specifications. In fact, some manufacturers give us specs for key on engine off and key on engine running. Low fuel pressure may be caused by a bad regulator. Don't forget it may be in the tank. It could be low fuel pump output. It could be a dirty fuel filter. Now, these conditions may or may not set a lean diagnostic trouble code. Volume testing will help identify the cause of low fuel pressure. On, refuel, on returnless fuel systems, check your tool manufacturer, your instructions for the correct procedures. Now here we're going to use a fuel system analysis gauge. And with the engine running, insert the return hose back into a gas tank or any OSHA approved container. Just don't let it splash all over. Now there's no hard specifications for volume. A good rule is that there must be one pint of fuel within 30 seconds. High performance vehicles should have one pint in 15 seconds. So the larger the engine, the high performance vehicles are going to use more fuel and they must produce more fuel. Now if you're using the FSA tester, in general, a good general rule on most engines is the ball should be at 0.5 on the gauge. Low volume can be caused by dirty fuel filters or low fuel pump output. If volume is low with a good fuel filter, go to fuel pump circuit testing. Now, fuel pump amps testing is an alternative to the mechanical test. Go to fuel pump amps testing. You will now be returned to the test selection menu. Make a selection based on your test results.